Two U.S. officials are telling CNN that the U.S. believes Israel has conducted an airstrike into Syria. Western intelligence agencies are reviewing classified data, and they say they believe Israel conducted the strike today or late yesterday. Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr is more on this breaking news. And Barbara, obviously uh, significant that Israel would have done this. Uh, absolutely, Aaron. Two U.S. officials confirming to me that U.S. and Western intelligence agencies are tonight reviewing classified data showing uh, indications that they believe Israel did conduct an airstrike into Syria. Uh, the other data point that they are looking at is the Lebanese are reporting in the last 24 hours 16 Israeli warplane flights over Lebanese airspace coming into Lebanon, violating their airspace, going towards that Syrian border. So clearly something has happened here. U.S. officials say they need to get more information about all this. They're not confirming it publicly. As for the Israelis, they're not confirming it either. But they did issue a statement to our Sarah Seidner saying, quote, we will do whatever is necessary to stop the transfer of weapons from Syria to terrorist organizations. Mm. We have done it in the past and will do it if necessary in the future. We know that the Israeli position is they will strike at Syria if they see weapons being transferred from Syria to Hezbollah forces right. in Lebanon. And, and Barbara, let me ask you, though, that, you know, obviously there had been reports uh, that the Secretary Hagel had said that there had been chemical weapons use uh, in Syria. That had formerly been a red line for the U.S., but was unclear if it still was. Do you know whether the Israelis struck a chemical weapons facility? Two, these two U.S. officials telling me tonight they do not believe chemical weapons per se were involved. They see no evidence of that. They feel very strongly they would know that specifically. What they are looking at is the Israeli vow that Israel has made to strike at Syria if they start to transfer those weapons out to Hezbollah in Lebanon or to other terrorist organizations. Also, they don't believe that these Israeli warplanes actually entered Syrian airspace to conduct this strike. Typically, they stay outside Syrian airspace and they can shoot in.